my beautiful daughter. She's gonna go up to work. She's this amazing licensed tour guide. And she does like really posh tours. Like when the when the Louvre is closed, then she comes Just in. us and the Mona Lisa. That that that's awesome. Very posh. Anyway, she's dropping me off in front of the 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 Notre Dame and she's got this, you know, VIP tour. And I'm gonna go and sit around and shop for a tote bag of some sort. And then I'm going to uh, try the metro all the way back home. Hopefully she doesn't get lost. <laughs> Now I'm going to be off shopping, probably going to start with a cup of coffee somewhere so I can admire the Notre Dame. Let's go, come on. I think I'll have a cup of coffee here, right in front of the Notre Dame. I'm in beautiful Paris, in the Latin quarters, in this great cafe, which I found a great table that is right in front of the Notre Dame. It's a beautiful day today, and I guess there's this huge marathon going around the entire city that's got so much traffic, we had to take the metro in because all the taxis and Ubers were super full. So I just ordered, and I'm spending the day solo, which is wonderful, which is a great treat. So I ordered a Cafe Gourmand, which is an espresso that I had them put more hot water with three petite desserts. I'm going to start with my coffee because I love my coffee. And then I'm going to try this thing. What can this be? I don't know what it is, but it's super sweet. And then there's this one. Mmm, profiterol. Super good. And then this guy. This tastes what this is. What is that? Mmm, some kind of a, a mousse, a fruit mousse. Delicious. So I'm done, and now I'm gonna pay the bill, and the bill was only eight euros. Now we're gonna go and wander the streets of the Latin quarters, which is the left bank. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Come on, let's do it.
had to live anywhere in Paris, it would be in Saint Germain, which is the sixth at Rosemont. This little doorway, it's got tiny little cafes, beautiful. And it's like one of my favorite areas. So if I would live around this area, I would go down that street all the time because it has a okay Mexican restaurant. I know that sounds crazy, but I love Mexican. Let's go check it out. This is where I have my Mexican fix. <laughs> this is my street. It's called Rue Gucci. This is the street that I want to live in. It's got the Tesha bookstore, my favorite. And then it's called Rue. Place. Tons of stuff. So now I'm going in to the Tisha bookstore. We're going into this one. Let's go get a cocktail. It's a great cafe. Okay, so this is the Saint Germain Spritzer and it's got Prosecco and it's got elderflower and it's got some blueberries and it's got um, a lime and it's divine. My daughter got me into this. First time having it and I think I'm gonna have it for a long time. <laughs> My daughter is going into Boca Met to get some uh, jalapenos, so I guess the only place that she could buy it is here. She's in ho, 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 the jalapenos. Founded in 1686. And this is on my favorite little street. And it's technically the back entrance. We're so we're trying to get to the front of that restaurant and you have to go outside and into the main street. So this Cafe Procope is one of the oldest tea house in, in Paris. And you know who used to come here? Benjamin Franklin. There's his hat. So basically, this is Napoleon's Napoleon, hat. Yes, Napoleon hat. He didn't have any money, so when he told the restaurant keeper that he'll go and get his wallet, and he left his hat. But in reality, he never came back for the hat, so he never paid for his meal. So this is Napoleon's hat in this restaurant. Pretty cool. Walking the streets of Paris. Out a great day. Arrivederci!